Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So there's three topics that I want to talk about today, and it's uh, Trump mugs. Okay, so how is that going to come out? I mean, it looks like he'll make a lot of money off of it, but is this going to have some sort of significant difference in what happens uh, with uh, Donald Trump and his campaign? The Trump mugs, it's just, they're so creepy, and um, I can't imagine that it doesn't turn people away, but we'll, we'll see what the cards can tell us a little bit about that. The next thing is interest rates in the United States. So uh, this is something that's uh, very uh, close to me because I'm actually selling my house and I'm not having any activity, and I believe it's because of the high interest rates. So uh, I want to know, so this is personal. I don't usually do personal reads, but this will be personal to me, but I think everybody's interested too. So what's going on with the interest rates? Are they going to go up? Are they going to come down? When is all that going to happen? I really want to know about that. And then the Wagner Group, uh, which is the uh, paramilitary, is it paramilitary the correct word? But, uh, you know, like the uh, mercenaries uh, Putin uh, had hired, which a lot of other countries hired too. They're uh, big in South Africa. But uh, the Wagner Group, now that uh, this fellow's gone, that his plane just fell out of the sky. Um, no thanks to Putin, of course. Uh, so what's going to happen with the Wagner Group? And um, are they going to continue to exist? Uh, where are they going to operate? And just what comes to mind. So that's what I've got today. I hope uh, you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. So those three topics today, Trump, interest rates, and the uh, Wagner Group. So uh, the Housewives Tarot, again, these are kind of some heavy topics. So I thought, you know, we'll lighten it up with the cards that we use today. And um, I talk a lot about these cards at the end. I'll tell you exactly um, lots of interesting things about them. So just uh, stay for that if you're interested. And then, um, so Donald Trump mugs. I wanted, that picture was so well shaded. And he was so perfectly positioned. I mean, did someone direct that shoot? Um, the insignia for the uh, for Fulton County was so far in the background. I mean, the whole thing was just orchestrated. It looked like uh, he was shaded somehow. If you look at the uh, video, you'll see that there's. Uh, if I can create it here. So yeah, see here, I've got a window uh, this way, and if I put this here, I can change the shading on my on myself. And in the way it was done for Trump, uh, part of his face was shaded, so it made him look thinner. Uh, taken from looking up like this with his hair really swooped down and that horrible look on his... I mean, he had to have practiced that in some sort of an environment that mimicked uh, where he was having it taken. And, and he knew exactly how to posi position himself self with the camera that was there. Someone must have been shading it. Was there extra lighting come in? Did he get several times to take a pose and I can just see him saying no let's do that again let me see that one oh no let's do that again I can just see that happening so I want to know on that mug shop then the interest rates and then the Wagner group but uh, I want to know more about that and we'll talk about that but first let's take just a moment for meditation So that mug shot, um, was that staged in a way that most of us don't get to, um, to have that done? Was that mug shot staged? Huh, let's try that again. Was the mug shot staged? Two cards. These two right here, as a matter of fact. Okay, was it staged? Ah. The lovers. So this is a perfect pairing. This is uh, a couple who are have made a pact. But look, this pact has driven them, you know, off a cliff or something and into some water. So the lovers card, interesting. That's Major Arcana right there. So yeah, there was there was some sort of an agreement, and then <laughs> death, Salmonella. I love this how it's depicted here. Uh, everything expires. It says right here on the jar. It says real Salmonella, a full. 
quart liquid. And let's see, yep. So I love these. Look at the fly on the cheese, the rotten fruit. Okay. Interesting. So, but it, it is, what does it say on top here? Another fine food. So yeah, so it's it was an agreement. It was some sort of a, um, you know, they got together on that. The, they had to be the people in the room, the government, whoever's taking the pictures, someone on the on the government side, uh, but it was just pointless. Um, interesting. So I'm going to say, yeah, that it was, it was staged, but I also want to know, is the marketing of that going to uh, make a difference uh, in Trump's luck in trial? Three cards for that. One, two, three. Uh, is the marketing of that uh, mug shot on t-shirts, etc going to make a difference for Trump's campaign. So the five of cups is a loss. Okay. Cups are emotional. And so this is loss. I think what this is telling us is that this was such an emotional situation for him. It is a loss of some sort of, uh, if he doesn't have dignity, then some sort of, a, I don't know, a, 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 a feeling of superiority. There was a loss of that for him. And, uh, but there was still something left. And so he made the best that he could with it. So, um, is this going to further his campaign? Um, two, he had to make a choice. Okay, two of swords. And then the final card is a four pentacles trying to hold on to his value. So yeah, it was a desperate attempt. Uh, it did hit him. It did hit him hard, okay? Um, but he had to make a choice as far as what to do. And he decided to try to hold on to his value somehow and uh, play it up for himself. Interesting how the cards just seem to perfectly uh, talk about these situations. Um, I want to go right on to interest rates for the United States. Interest rates for the U.S. Okay, so they're really and, and look the cards when the cards don't want to cooperate. I kind of interpreted that as that you know that is an interpretation or a, a premon, uh, premonition of how the reading is going to go for that topic. So interest rates in the United States. I want to know in 12 months. In 12 months, is it going to be? Um, uh, relax in the interest rates, plain and simple. Are they going to start to uh, go down interest rates for, you know, buying normal stuff? Uh, three cards, one, two, and three. Three cards, interest rates in a, in a year is something going to, and then we'll start to narrow it down from that. Okay. First card is Queen of Swords. So truth, justice, rules, and laws. We have a cutting here of the uh, the rose. I don't know if this feels like this queen is cutting the interest rates. Um, the queen of wands actions and then the knight of pentacles which is just the beginnings of value. Oh this is very good. So in a, in a year's time yeah there will be a cut in the interest rates. There this will be a compassionate action that was taken uh, for the economy and then the knight of pentacles is just the beginnings of trying to uh, or just trying to hold on to the value or even in this case actually the money so trying not to get into a um, uh, recession um, so that's a year now let's go six months and see if we can do that I mean the cards aren't good with time but this are closer to now uh, in less than a year closer to now what's gonna happen uh, and really in my head I'm thinking six months or even three months but let's see what the cards tell us uh, closer to now what's gonna happen with the interest rates one two three and look I don't know anything about this stuff and uh, so this is just my interpretation of the cards so don't take this as any sort of advice as to what you should do uh, in your financial life um, oh, the Queen of Wands. I like it when they repeat. It means the cards are paying attention. And that's a pretty um, interesting chance that this card would come back up again. So right now, there's a Queen of Wands. So it now is when that plan is being implemented. Okay, closer to now. Six months, maybe three months. And uh, the Four of Swords. Wow. I want to get a really good interpretation for the four of swords wow recuperation rejuvenation retreat sleep meditation contemplation you know that's the one that's always you know taking a beat waiting a minute before you go on to do something else and you can kind of see it here this these ingredients um and she is in fact 
uh, taking a break. She's got those cucumbers on her face. She has a facial mask, hair's done up. She's taking a little time for herself before she goes out and does something. So I would say the plans are being made right now. It's not quite the time to move yet. And then the final one is the Ace of Swords. But in the future, there's gonna be a uh, value in what happens here, great big Ace of Swords. So yeah, the, the building blocks for those interest rates are being dealt with at this very moment. So that could be six months, three months. Um, but in a year's time, we'll see a result. Now that uh, Wagner Group, uh, who are really just high paid elite uh, mercenaries who will, you got the money, they will fight for your country uh, and do whatever, but don't screw with them. If you don't pay them, they're going to come after you. But they didn't know who they were dealing with in Putin. And I really thought that uh, they were going to get the best of Putin. But look at that, the sneaky devil. He just had the plane blown up. And they should have known. They should have known. How did those people getting into that plane, doing what they do for a living, and the planes delayed, how did they not have someone there to make sure nothing odd was going on? So let's use that as the question. I'm gonna do um, three cards just to get started. I could go six cards on this if, if it looks like it's telling a story. So that Wagner group, how could they not have understood how did they let that slip? So the six, <sighs> the six of wands. You know, this is uh, getting a lot done, and my brain today is just not uh, moving along as well as it should be. Success, oh yeah, um, six of wands is victory. So, and wands are actions, plans, forward movement. So this six of wands is interesting here. We've got all these people on the outside looking in at the cleanup. Ah, a cleanup. This was some sort of a cleanup of that Wagner group. Um, interesting. This is the potential signifier card of a, a dyadic cross. Um, challenge to that would be, oh, Wheel of Fortune, just having the right opportunity to get it done. Uh, the basis of that then is this Four of Cups being offered something you don't quite want. So they've got plenty going on, but look, this one cup here has a sword in it. Wow, so that's the repair. Yeah, we're going to keep going here. Uh, three more cards. Or I'll just take the cards from here. Uh, in the past to this reading for the Wagner Group, how did they let that get by? So it was a cleanup from the outside, obviously. They, the Wagner Group is on the inside, but Putin's people are on the outside looking for the opportunity. And look who these are. These are like uh, the maids. These are the everyday people who are willing, just like in the United States, there's everyday people who are willing to do insane things for this President Trump. Well, in, in, in Russia, I'm going to guess there's a lot of the same thing. There are everyday people in Putin's Russia who are willing to do anything to move his cause along, to maybe better even their position. If they let it be known, hey, I would do something, maybe they get a little better foot up. And probably that's how Prigozhin got where he was to begin with. He was he was uh, Putin's cook at one time. He was he had been spent 10 years in jail before he became uh, Putin's bestie. And then now he's in the downfall. But anyway, so yeah, it was a cleanup. It was Putin's cleanup with everyday people uh, just waiting for the right time to do it. Um, yeah, so just not wanting. They should have known. This should have been the thing that told them. When that plane to go back for repairs just before takeoff, that should have been the thing that kept them. But uh, in the past of this is heartbreak, uh, which is, of course, what they suffered. Uh, in the sky of this is uh, the Nine of Pentacles. In the sky of this is getting back to being that um, prosperous, uh, entity and the likely outcome for the first part of this for the progression group as far as what's going to happen to them now is this page of cups so there's still there's still a lot of um, uh, need in the world if you could believe that for this kind of a, a situation this kind of a group uh, let's go ahead and make it a full uh, di uh, Celtic cross uh, the very self of that question for the Wagner group is the Knight of Pentacles okay so they still have a little value in the environment of a page of wands. Okay, a little bit of an idea to move forward. So this is them getting themselves uh, ready to move forward in this as a new iteration. Uh, the hopes and the fears 
is uh, yep, having the strength to continue on. And the final outcome for the Wagner Group is the Nine of Cups, which is displaying their uh, the greedy merchant, displaying their trophies. Uh, so this is so Christmas is coming to them for the people who are left. So the Wagner Group is um, they're off of Putin's back for now, but they're not going anywhere. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards. Okay, now. so this is the Housewives Tarot, a domestic divination kit with deck and instruction book by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. And this is put out by Quirk uh, uh, Press, I guess it's called. So this is so neat. It's reminiscent of a recipe box. And it's, it's really sturdy, solid, thick cardboard. And it's got so many cool illustrations on the outside. It was only about $16. And... Um, and then it's even got here, uh, guaranteed by the housewife occultists of America. Just really neat. Okay. So if we go inside, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's set up just like a recipe box. The first little card here, you'll see it says uh, the housewife tarot. And then on the back of this, it just tells you about the publisher and the uh, copyrights and that sort of thing. But the second card is labeled as the major arcana. Okay. And then the back of it is an actual real recipe. I mean, I've read the recipe. You can make this. This one's called the Icebox um, Fortune Cake. And I won't read the recipe, but I'll just tell you this cool uh, little thing says is for use with the Neapolitan spread. The spread is referring to, I think, four or six uh, ways to divide the card, to spread the cards out. So this is for use with the Neapolitan spread. And it says here, eat this cake quickly before your past, present, and future start melting together. Really, you know, just cute. Uh, the first section here had the major arcana in here separately. Of course, I've mixed up the cards and, and shuffled them, so it's not that anymore, but I put that little group there so you can see what it looked like. The second um, card here is the uh, minor arcana uh, card, recipe card. Again, another recipe that you can actually prepare. This is like deviled eggs, but they've called it here divinated eggs instead of deviled eggs. And it says for use with the dinette spread. So like a dinette table. And it says you'll never go back to deviled eggs once you've had them divinated. Really cool and a decent recipe. The third um, card, which I've got out of, uh, and then the, of course the uh, pip cards, the minor, minor arcana with it. The third card, which was actually uh, here, uh, it talks about the instruction booklet. And I'll pull it out and it says, yep, instruction booklet. And then on the back, another recipe. And this is his Madame Marlena's Mystical Martini. It's for use with the martini spread, which is another spread they recommend. And also it's an, an actual, actual recipe you could prepare. The booklet itself is amazing. It's a really good quality of booklet, okay? It's got full color and really great, uh, interesting divinations for the cards. But the first part is what's so cool. The first page here tells you one, two, three, four, five different spreads that you could uh, lay the cards out in, they suggest, they've developed. And then this, I'll just tell you this first little paragraph and then the last sentence, because this is, just gives you an idea of how uh, quirky and how interesting this thing is written. It says right here, regarding the Mystical Housewives Tarot, the legend, uh, according to gossip, the Housewives Tarot was introduced by housewife extraordinaire Marlene Louise Weatherby in the early 1950s. She was a happy homemaker who seemed to have it all, a devoted husband, obedient children, a sparkling home that was the talk of the town, a fashion sense to die for, and for more than her fair share of, and more, far more than her fair share of women's intuition. Very cool. And then just the last sentence is so neat. It says here, just how exactly did Marlene acquire these mis this mystical knowledge? Whether, whenever pressed, she kept her lips sealed tighter than Tupperware. Marlene took her secret to the grave, bless her heart, and the origin of the housewife's tarot shall remain shrouded in mystery forevermore. Just really, really very thoughtful. Everything about this. So if you can't tell, I'm loving the deck. So that's the box. The cards, uh, actually, they're a decent weight of cards, okay? They're not too slick. And uh, this kind of looks like a tablecloth, doesn't it? And then, uh, let me lay them out for you. The, the are different, um, the Major Arcana and then the Minor uh, Pip cards have their own kind of color-coded uh, sequencing here. Major Arcanas are circled in black. The uh, cups are in blue and uh, green for the pentacles, etc. and so forth. And they're very colorful. They're easy to divine. The only thing I would say is that this Empress, for instance, is the number two of the Major Arcana. And in typical Rider Waite system, number two is the High Priestess. And if I'm not mistaken, the High Priestess in this one is actually labeled as a number three, which would be the Empress. So that doesn't quite 
uh, me meld with the uh, Rider weight system, but they're easy enough to divide because I tell you right here what this card is supposed to be. You know, I laid the cards out like this so that you get a chance to see more than just the few that come out when we do a reading. And um, to also give you an example of, the, you know, if you're doing a reading for someone, they can do this too and uh, lay the cards out and you kind of get their energy in you know, them if you don't particularly want them to shuffle them, which I don't particularly like people to shuffle my cards because I kind of shuffle them uh, not in a... Um, you know, not in a, a rough manner. So here we have it, the Housewives Tarot. Really great. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.